responsible for Maryland, Pennsylvania, Delaware, New Jersey, and Washington DC federations. And of course, he is going to still remain with us, even though he will go into the regional uh, part. Now, Pat, it's for you. Okay, welcome everyone to this very special event. And thank you for taking the time to pay tribute to Dr. Gary for his many accomplishments as president of our Maryland Federation of NARF. Enjoy yourselves. Okay, and we start with our esteemed treasurer and most talented saxophone player. And he is going to be- Oh, no, no, don't we do the, Ed, Ed Pledge of Allegiance? Ed with the player. Pat, you would do yeah. your pledge first. Okay. okay, it's my pleasure to introduce Ed Reed, our second vice president and membership director who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance on this very historical day. Well, if everyone can hear me. Yes. Fine. I'm told. Right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to our flag, to the United, 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 United States, States of America, America. And, to and, the and to the republic for which, for which it stands. stands. One nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. It's all yours, Pat. All right. Leave the suit is turn. All right. Now, I guess we can get to our musical parts of it. And uh, Stu uh, is going to be playing It's Wonderful When the Saints Go Marching In, Amazing Grace, There Will Never Be Another You, and A Christmas Song. Take it away, Stu. Okay, um, hold on a moment here. Let me get, um, let me get Ed off the screen here and then we ask you to start video and stop sharing. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when Stu comes on, I'm gonna take you guys off the screen here. Whoops. I didn't write anything to say. And there um, Stu, uh, you gotta, Stu, you gotta um, start your video, click the, there we go. There we go. Okay, and Good morning, hold everyone. on. Before you start, Thank I'm gonna take- Thank you for letting me um, the musical distraction for this morning. <clears throat> when we have our little group playing, sometimes we do anecdotal information uh, to some of these selections uh, to provide a little information. Our first selection, George Gershwin was an American composer and pianist. Gershwin's compositions span both popular and classical genres, and his most popular melodies are widely known. Among his best known works are the orchestral compositions Rhapsody in Blue, An American in Paris, as well as the opera Porgy and Bess. For our introduction, here is George Gershwin's It's Wonderful.
Many of you have been to New Orleans, and those of you who haven't, hopefully will recognize the next number. <laughs> of Dr. Gary's other life. Here's our next selection. <clears throat> Harry Warren was an American composer and lyricist. He was the first major American songwriter to write primarily for film. He was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Song 11 times and won three Oscars for composing Lullaby of Broadway, You'll Never Know, on the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe. He wrote the music for the first blockbuster film musical, 42nd Street. <clears throat> Here now is Harry Warren's <clears throat> there will never be another you. <laughs> Keeping with a Christmas season, 
Here is our final selection. That was wonderful, Stuart. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, un unmute, um, Suda. Unmute, there you go. Yeah, that is a great tribute. Thank you very much, Stuart. And I hope Dr. Gary enjoyed it too. Well, I guess we'll just now go with uh, verbal tributes uh, to Dr. Gary. And we will begin with Ed Reed, our second vice president for membership, who will lead our tributes at this point. All right, Ed. Okay, let me get Ed over on the stage here. And um, okay, Ed. Okay, so Ed, I am bringing you up on the stage. And then uh, everybody can see if the order that we're going to go on for the um, for the tributes. So we've got Ed Reed and Ed Holland, Dr. Bruce Fowler, Paul Schwartz, and um, there we go. So let me stop sharing my screen. And Ed, well, folks. And especially for you, Dr. Gary, it's been a pleasure working as your second vice president, traveling with you to NEB meetings, as well as working all our regional, as well as federation activities. As one Marine to another, I'll just completely say it's been great. It's always faithful working with you and continue your great work with the region. Thank you for your support. That's it. And now we have uh, Ed Holland. Yes, I'd like to introduce Ed Holland. Uh, he's our program director, our public relations director, and our equity committee chair. Ed? Hi, Gary. Many thanks to Dr. Suda and Pat for bringing us together. Congratulations on being elected unopposed to North Region 2 president. Similar to how your Federation peers recognize your leadership abilities, we too in the Merlin Federation recognize your prowess in this tribute, tribute proves it. I know that your opinions will carry today at national. I truly appreciate the numerous opportunities you have given me to blossom under your leadership. But I've noticed that I'm not the only one to have grown under you. Seeing how I've only been with NAR for two years, and that's only two years, <laughs> you took a big gamble on giving me so much wiggle room. Let's see, program director, public relations director, Congressional District Leader Four, representative of the Merlin DC Alliance for Retired Americans, representative to the Fraternal Order of Police, Equity, Equity Committee Chair, <laughs> the Sergeant Arms. Woo! I believe that's all the all the positions you've given me. Anyways, hopefully I haven't let you down. That's the kind of guy you are, a good judge of character, a stand-up guy. Please don't forget us little people if you could 
continue to climb that pole, simplify Marine, do or die. All right. Next, we have our esteemed Federation Legislative Committee Chair, who between NARF meetings talks to heads of state like German Chancellor Angela Merkel, our very own Dr. Bruce Fowler. All right. Let's see, can we get me up here? Hello there. Well, this is also a tribute to Gary, and I think the important thing I would like to pass on to him and wishing him well in his new role within NARF is to continue the open-mindedness and progressive attitude he's and supportive attitude he has shown for our various projects. As we know, the federal employees have been much maligned in some quarters and NARF under Gary's leadership particularly with the profiles in civil service, has provided an instrument for saying, no, this isn't so. Uh, these are good people. They're doing their best for our country, and we need all of them we can get. And I think if Gary can carry this, expand this activity up, up at the next level he's going to, this will be well received, because I think there are many people in many other parts of the country, even if not the world, um, who are depending on us. So anyway, Gary, thank you. And I wish you the best of luck in your new role. And uh, we're going to be here. So you, <laughs> you know where we live. Okay. So take care and God bless you. I'd like to introduce Paul Schwartz, who's the chair of our state legislative committee and he is the coordinator of the MD NARF PAC. Hello, everyone. There is no one that I know of who is more dedicated to NARF than Gary Roundtree. And it is that kind of commitment that is the lifeblood of any organization as it is with NARF. Now, his commitment to punctuality, on the other hand, not so much. Is Gary here yet is a common refrain, but I digress. I want to tell you a quick story about Gary's commitment to NARF and his efforts to keep NARF in the mix among other federal employee organizations. It was 2015 and the 50th anniversary of Medicare. Congress was celebrating the occasion and the Safe Social Security Group was looking for someone who just turned 65 becoming eligible for Medicare in its 50th year. Gary saw an opportunity for some NARF exposure and seized it and seized me. He picked me up at my house, drove me into DC, and which was not that uh, large a, a drive since he also went to Reno during the convention, but that's another story. He picked me up at my house, drove me to DC, and I participated in a photo op with Nancy Pelosi, uh, Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, who was driving this, uh, John Dingell, uh, Steny Hoyer, our own Steny Hoyer, and a whole host of other Congress people, all while we were representing NARF. And that was all Gary, who, by the way, also drove me back home, which was putting a, a, a cap on the uh, whole day. It is that kind of commitment to keeping NARF in the game that is critical to membership efforts. And Gary will do a great job as Region 2 Vice President. And I sincerely, sincerely congratulate him in this new position because NARF is better off for it. Thanks, Gary. I'd like to introduce the next speaker, Sergeant Major, a brilliant writer, Federation chapter president, and a dear friend to our active duty engineer, Lieutenant Colonel Twinson, the one and only Barry Decker, who will also read the tribute from Jim Wood. Sergeant Major Decker. Ooh, ooh, um, Sergeant Decker, um, you need to unmute. We can't hear you. Yeah, click, click the unmute button. On your on the computer screen, there's a little microphone at the bottom, on the bottom left hand side, I think. Mm 
Yep. Um, we can't hear you. Uh, yeah. It looks like you might have a screen to your left. I'm prompting you to unmute. Okay, I see. There, we got you. We got you. Okay, good morning, Dr. Gary Roundtree and fellow attendees. Here's our tribute to Dr. Gary Roundtree. It's not the miles you've traveled or the traffic you've passed. It's the memories you've made that are steadfast and last. It's setting the goals for organizations to attain, then training their leaders with hope, aspiration, and ideas you explain. It moves us along like a heavy freight train. It's working together in sunshine and rain with chapters and members that are near or so far, with hope for improvements for benefits held dear. It's our working together throughout the year. Regardless of seasons, winter, spring, summer, or fall, that's the reason you've challenged and encouraged us one and all. Thank you for leading us, training us, guiding us, providing the inspirational leadership our chapters and their members depend upon to protect those benefits we now have and those requiring improvement for NARFI members and their families in the years to come. Representing the leaders and members of NARFI Chapter 1522 Susquehanna, we all thank you and wish you the very best of success in your next challenging position as the Vice President of NARFI Region 2. Thank you. Okay, now let's see. Um, I, 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 can Virginia Bender raise her hand? Because I don't see her on the list. Should we go on to Kathy Schwab then? Yeah, let's. I'll, I'll bring Kathy on, and if, Let me Virginia, introduce her. if Virginia you. Bender comes in, just um, uh, please raise your hand. Okay, uh, an engineer, a mm -hmm. veteran, and now one of our top. Federation Congressional District Leaders, I give you Kathy Schwab. <laughs> well, thank you, Suda. That's very nice of you. Well, Gary, thank you so much for, uh, I mean, I remember when I first met you guys, I kind of stumbled into you all at the Legislative Congress in, in DC. And I'm so glad that you brought me into the fold and I'm so happy. And uh, I, I'm out there advocating for NARF and thank you for making me being the CDL with Congressman Trone. He's been super supportive of us and uh, continues to be. I just got a letter yesterday from his legislative aide that they sent to the appropriators, both Senate and House, supporting uh, getting rid of this executive order on uh, politicizing federal employees. So uh, um, we're doing great things. And Gary, thank you for your leadership. Uh, Maryland has been, is like one of the strongest uh, federations in, in the group. And uh, I know you'll bring that leadership um, to the district and, and beyond. So thank you so very much and uh, thanks. Great. And let's see. Okay. I'm hoping Larry Walton, we can bring Larry on and he might have a little bit of a feedback problem, it looks like. But let's see, Larry, can we get you? Let's just start video. Um, All right, Larry, can you hear us? Yes, can you guys hear me? Yeah, um, and here, um, uh, we can hear you fine if you wanna do your, um, can, your camera, start your video. I'm getting feedback, Steve. 
Here you go. I'd like to introduce Larry Walton, who is the special assistant to our president, Dr. Gary Roundtree, senior. And he's also the president of chapter 2274 Ocean Area. Larry. Ooh. Thank you. Good morning, Gary and everybody. Gary, it's been a pleasure working with you. For, I'm getting feedback, Steve. Here, hold on. I, I think now, I think it's, you've got two, uh, you have two things logged in, like a phone in. Log, log. Take me out, man. Okay, let me take this one down. Okay. All right, so let's see how that, how does that now? All right. Okay, so try it now. We can hear you though. Larry? We got it now, Steve. Yeah, I, I, I think you're, it, we can hear you. Go ahead with your tribute, Larry. Are you good now? Yes. Yeah, yes. Whoop. Okay. Um, well, um, uh, Suda and Pat, wh while we're waiting for Larry, um, and well, first off is if Virginia Bender is in the audience and she can raise her hand, I could bring her on onto stage. Um, otherwise, why don't, while, while we're trying to get Larry back on, um, Larry? I see your microphone's open. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Why don't you let's, I think it might be your video. Can you so hear me you, now? Yes. Can you hear us? Yes. Can everybody hear me better now? Yes. 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 Good. Yep. Phew. Yes. Okay. All right. Before I do uh, mine. All right. I got one from Larry Lang. He couldn't join us today. He asked me to read this to Gary. Many thanks to Dr. Gary Roundtree. Gary, because I am in the process of going to settlement on the sale of my Gaither Rails townhouse, I'm subsequently moving into a retirement community in Adamstown, Maryland. I'm sorry that I won't be able to be on today's December 7th call, so I could personally express my appreciation for the excellent job you have done as president of NARPS. Maryland Federation these last several years. I know all of us realize what an enormous amount of work that job entails. You have done an outstanding job in carrying out all the duties of your position, always advising the members of NARF's Maryland Federation of up-to-date information regarding the chapters in our state, the Maryland Federation itself, and national NARF. I have been the chaplain for the Maryland Federation for over 10 years. In the time you had been the Maryland Federation president, you've always seemed to, at our Federation board meetings, begin with an invocation by me, and those meetings also ended with a benediction by me. On occasion, you have asked me to acknowledge, usually following an invocation, individuals that have passed away. I appreciate your consistency and continued support for the, uh, these duties of the Federation chaplain. I am also a member of the Bylaws and Resolution Committee. Resolution committee. As president, your commitment to that committee and all the other Federation committees have greatly been appreciated by me and all the members of the Maryland Federation. Thank you again for the excellent job you did for him as president of our Maryland Federation. My sincere best wishes for your continued success into the future as our Region 2 Vice President. Then he just thanked me for reading it, Larry Chaplin, Larry Lang, Chaplin, Maryland Federation. That was from Larry. Gary, what do, what do one say? Everybody's been saying everything I wanted to say. 
But I got to tell you how I how I really became involved with Gary. It was back in uh, the summer of 2018. I was at a Maryland Senior Citizens Hall of Fame. So was Pat Farmer. We were both honored that day. My family was with me, and Gary came over to me. He says, "Larry, I got a job for you to do." And ever and ever since then, I've been very involved. I became Gary's special assistant, and he's been a great men, men, mentor. He's been a great friend. He's been a teacher. Uh, he's been a good leader. I wish him the best and reason to his VP, continued success. And I love the fact that Gary thinks outside of the box. Gary, I've appreciated working with you. I'm going to continue working with you as a regional under with you as regional v two, VP, if you'll have me. And I wish you all the success in the world. God bless you. Gary, you're my brother. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so I don't think we have Virginia Bender in the audience, but if she's there and can raise her hand. Um, otherwise, the, the back to uh, Suda and Pat. Okay, uh, so at this time, we were going to take a couple of minutes to go and uh, get a glass so we can raise it in a toast to Dr. Gary. So uh, did you want to uh, say uh, about five minutes, Pat? How do you feel? Um, five minutes, sure. Okay. Uh, okay. See, and, you can start so, the clock. Okay, so let's see. Right now, it's 11.35. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring everybody back on the stage so we can all raise our, raise our glasses together to uh, Dr. Roundtree. So... Um, take some, go, go grab a glass and come back a, around uh, 1140, but um, I'm going to bring everybody up on the stage so that we can raise a glass together. Okay. Don't forget the cake. I'm going to bring the cake up too. <laughs> A lot of people here. Good. Yeah. Let's say 24. Hmm. 25. 25. 20. Yeah. 25. Oh, I see 26, uh, 25, 25, I can't. <laughs> yeah. 25. Wonder what happened to Virginia? I don't know. I hope she's okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll go get my glass. All right, I think I got it. everybody, and if we just need Stuart to jump on, and then we will be good, and then I'm going to, here's the cake.
Okay, we'll, we'll give it another minute here. Make sure that everybody's got a glass. Or a bottle. Not a mug. Steve. <laughs> Some of us can't get through because we need your permission. Oh, to, oh, okay, here, okay, ask to start video. Um, okay, Louise Cole, ask to start video. Okay, um, I think I've, I think I've clicked on everybody who's not on the video. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. All right, and uh, so it's 1141, Suda and Pat, anytime you're ready. It, hopefully everybody got to see the, the beautiful cake here that Pat baked. It's an amazing work of art. And now we can, everybody can see everyone. So I'm unmuting Pat and Suda. And let's see. Rooting again. And then I need, it, look, it looks like it's Kathy Adams and Don McGrath. If Yes. Um, well, should we start our toast then? Yeah, let me make sure that Kathy and Don, Dan are unmuted on. as well. Okay. Oh, that's just, yeah. Looks like I'm unmuted. OK. Do okay. we still have our two minutes? OK, uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, now uh, we will start our toast uh, with our beloved regional vice presidents who's promised to stay in touch with us. I give you our Kathy Adams. Hello, everyone. Hi, Gary. I first got to know Gary at a Maryland Federation meeting I was very impressed with the way Marilyn uh, handles their meetings. Um, Suda, Pat, Ed, and Larry made me feel so welcome that I could not wait to come back and visit the Maryland Federation once again. Your speakers were always so great and very interesting. Gary was a very enthusiastic Federation president. <laughs> Um, he always attended the NEB meetings at the NARF headquarters. Um, I was always so proud to have the most guests for any federation. Gary can be trusted and he will give you 100% of his time when needed. Uh, he is a good team player and I can always depend on him. God gave Gary the voice of authority, and he will need it in the NEB. I will always cherish working with Gary as the job gets done. I know he will do great things for Region 2 beginning 1 January. He and I agree on the many challenges facing NARF, and we have had many discussions regarding the future of NARF. We in Region 2 wish you all the best of luck, and we know you will make great decisions for the good of the organization and its members. I would like to toast Gary and wish him the best of luck. Cheers. 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 Congratulations. Congratulations. Cheers. 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 Okay, Pat. Okay, I'd like to introduce our next uh, toaster. 
who is our immediate, <laughs> our immediate past president of the Maryland Federation of NARF, Dan McGrath. Thank you, Pat. I guess uh, I really didn't know Gary until I became president of NARF and he was elected my vice president. And uh, I was very impressed with him. Right? He would do anything you asked him to do. He would just uh, take on things and continue to learn and so forth. I was very fortunate to have him as my first vice president because it made my job so much easier. And I tell you, I took full advantage of it. On the other hand, Payback has been tough. He's been, you know, as a really as a senior political advisor for him, as I moved out into the position of immediate past president, he gave me a lot of contact, a lot of, asked for a lot of help. And I would give him my advice to take and do what he wanted with it. He's been very good for Maryland. I think he'll be good for the region and in the future, good for North National. I hope he has plans to move on after the region and I will support him whatever he tries in the future. With that, Gary, Thanks for being Gary. Thanks for being so helpful. Thanks for looking out for us and keep it up. Cheers. 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 That pair of five. <laughs> wow. Dr. Gary, we would like to have your response at this time. And what I'd recommend to everybody um, I'm, is in the upper right hand corner, you can toggle from gallery view to speaker view. And when you do that, <coughs> Dr. Gary will be prominent on the screen. And that way we can leave everybody on as opposed to um, turning your cameras off. Uh, how does that sound to everybody? Okay, you can bring uh, Dr. Gary's face up front. Yeah, yeah, actually here, I may, let's, um, I'm just gonna take everybody's, uh, uh, stop everybody's video except for Dr. Gary. And if you can, if you can do it on your own, that's great, okay? This is uh, really a wonderful tribute. Working. We're getting there. No. Okay. Looks like Dr. Gary, the floor is yours. Congratulations. Turn on your mic. Oh, uh, unmute yourself. Thank you so much to everyone. Uh, before I give a few remarks, uh, Laura, Doctor Doctor Gary, Doctor Gary, um, you got muted. Uh, 
if you can unmute yourself again, sorry. Yes. There you go. Okay, um, yeah, just repeat what you just said. Uh, before I get started with some remarks, uh, Larry Walton, could you send P. Jeffries the link? She's trying to get on. She had gave me a call. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. I've been moved to tears. And I feel so, so, so humble by all of the kind words, support, love, uh, respect. My journey uh, with North could not have been uh, so blessed without all of the help from each and every one of you that are here participating in this tribe. Uh, you often heard it said that it takes a village uh, to raise a child. I came to North and just was overwhelmed by the professionalism of the people, the hospitable of their passion, public service, giving of their time, volunteerism, uh, a lot of work that y'all have done have helped me find that passion to serve all of North members, no matter what region they are in. I'm reminded by a quote that Emma, Emerson, uh, Emerson Waldorf uh, said, Ralph Waldo Emerson said, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where the path uh, has a trail. I think about that when I came to North, my goal was to make North the premier organization for federal employees. And Les Brown always said, shoot for the moon. If you miss the moon, at least you fall among the stars. And I said to myself, I'm gonna lay it all on the line for everything that I believe in North. I will not surrender back down from any challenge. I had to be mentored when I came to North. Dan McGrath was the president and I thank Dan for everything. I remember this uh, when I came to speak to Ocean City chapter, Dan McGrath opened his house and allowed me to come and stay with him and his wife, uh, Penny, my first time coming to visit. Ocean's, Ocean Pines chapter. Uh, I had never been to a house that had a phone in the bathroom. <laughs> and I remember coming to Dan's house and Dan and his wife treated me with utmost humility and gratefulness, just like a family mama. My life has been touched by all of y'all. I can go over the name, Gary Phillips, Louise Cole, Ron Shansbury, Kathy, Frank and Eleanor, Dan McGrath, Marcy Swanson, Barry Decker, Suda, Larry, you know, Pat Farmer, Kathy Swall, Paul Swartz, uh, everyone that's on this tribute, thank you, uh, thank you. You will read in my North article about serving North has been one of the greatest opportunities of my lifetime and serving the people of North. I will always cherish that for the rest of my life. And with this, I turn it back over to Steve Gurney. Thank y'all and thank you so very much. Well, um, thank you, Dr. Gary. And even though I am not part of the um, uh, 
the chapter in being involved with your events, I, I truly see the power um, in your leadership. And you, I, as an outsider, you all just have such a wonderful community. And um, I, it's my privilege to, to be involved. So with that- Steve, you're um, waiting and applaud everybody. Yeah, so just if you can, if you'd like to either turn on your mic or turn on your camera and your mic, we can just close out the uh, the, well, the meeting uh, with a big group hug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we still have Pat and my tribute to conclude with the program. Oh, oh okay. Um, okay. So, Pat, can you go ahead and uh, put her on full screen, please? And you can put me on screen, too. Uh, let's see here. Let me... Okay. Uh, I got Pat. Let me. Sorry, guys. Um, doing my best here. And let me get Suda. Okay, so you're being prompted to bring your video on there, Suda. Okay. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, Pat, are you uh, ready with your tribute? Yes, yes. Dr. Gary, it has been a pleasure and a privilege to serve on your NARF Maryland leadership team for the last four years. I have learned a lot from you over these years, and I hope you've learned something from me as well. I wish you all the best as the Region 2 Vice President and extend my best personal, personal wishes for your future. Thank you for everything. Okay, thank you, Pat. <laughs> and my tribute to you. My dear friend and mentor, Dr. Gary, it is impossible to sum up the impact of the countless hours you have spent with me, sharing your wisdom and knowledge on how to get <laughs> we can energize our Maryland Federation to accomplish our vision and mission of NARF. You have been generous in appointing me to high level nationwide forums, providing me the opportunity to gain visibility as Maryland Federation Space of NARF and to display my leadership management, intellect, energy, passion, and commitment to serve our Federation officers and members. You reinforced my agile ability to motivate and tap into the aspirations and goals of our members during the, our statewide spotlight tour to each Federation chapter where we engaged our members. Even before becoming the regional vice president, you incorporated the other Region 2 Federation presidents and members to join us in our exceptional profiles in civil service and provided me the platform to present it to our national Federation presidents. During the Senate and congressional forums that I initiated and developed with our Federation team, your steadfast support led to their total success and to lasting relationships with our new congressmen and senators. You have effectively leveraged the Federation's resources and created sustainability and meaningful results, spreading a clear and cohesive message of our Federation's priorities, making our Federation efficient and productive. You inspire each one of us. Your exceptionalism comes from your strength of vision that is bold and creative, shaping a better future for our Federation, which I plan to emulate. Your formidable commitment to our Federation and to building a culture of ethics and trust with your wise stewardship is a standard I will keep high as our Federation's president. I will always remember your unwavering mantra to have the wisdom to listen and the courage to lead. You have skillfully cut through traditional boundaries 
and removed barriers to confront our inequities and achieve and ensure a voice of diversity in our Federation. You have provided a solid foundation to all of us to learn and flourish under your guidance. With your genuine care and concern for each of us during this challenging year, you offered us your good judgment on how to deal with it. You have tutored me with clever ability to break down and analyze the politics of NARF's decision makers, pulling back the bureaucratic veil to show how you have dealt with them, speaking truth to power. Your thoughtful, purposeful, and focused actions have translated into real and sustainable improvements for our Federation. You have shone the light on accountability. You have partnered with me and our Federation's legislative Senate and congressional leaders during our crusades to Capitol Hill as a relentless advocate for NARF's issues. Just as you have led and impacted veterans, postal, and many other partner groups, it has been possible for me to be a leader in several Calvert County, Maryland, national and international groups, such as our Commissioner on Aging, ARP Executive Council, Fulbright United Seniors of Maryland, Blue Star Mothers, and other coalition partners. As our champion, you have made my future task as Federation President both exciting and compelling. I celebrate you and wish you today and always health so vibrant that you feel you want to dance, <laughs> music that inspires you, peace that fills your heart, abundance that overflows into generosity, joy that is contagious, a great sense of humor and expansive love. Your legacy will continue to endure and inspire under my leadership. Thank you, Dr. Thank you so much, Dr. Sue. Okay. Thank you. Right. Great, and I've asked, I've requested everybody can unmute themselves and we can do our best to do a, uh, a little uh, applause here. So <laughs> let's all give a big round of applause for Dr. Deere. Everybody clap. Good job, everybody. Oh, thank you. See? Yeah. Yes. Can I have a cake? Can I have a moment? Have a what? Yes. A moment. Yes. Just to say mm -hmm. something. Yes. Every holiday, as we get near the holidays, I would like for us to remember all of the Americans that are struggling this holiday. We as public servants, we work for the government, spend a lot of years serving people. But let's try to remember those that have not been fortunate this holiday season. If you can do something to make their lives better in your community, please do it. If you can send a meal to them, a gift to them, please do it. I've always looked at North as a family. If one falls, we all fall. Let's just try to remember that there are other people that can use our help. And let's just try to stand together to accomplish all the things that we know we can do as people in the United States and America. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And Steve, you can conclude this program, this celebration for Dr. Yeah. Gary Roundtree. Well, actually, Suda, you did a better job of doing that than I can. This has been wonderful. And um, I, we've recorded it for Dr. Gary and for everybody. And I took a few screenshots of the toast. So I'll make sure to send that out to everybody here this afternoon. Thank, Thank you. you.
Thank you, Steve. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank, you. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great Thank day, you. everybody. Thanks, everybody, for Thank joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank Thanks. Bye -bye. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wonderful thing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Great job, everybody. Dude. Congratulations.